So what I want to address is, well, you can see this picture right here. And these are types of rage quitters, but before that, I'm going to mention a guy or a girl, I don't even know, called WA something on the PSN, right? He sent me a friend's request and asked me if we could do like share play for Tekken 7 and I was like sure but not right now kind of busy type of that stuff and then I asked him like um, do you actually know me and he said yeah from there and there and this and that and I was like hmm but I can't recall so give me more details so I actually know where I know you from and he was talking um, a lot of BS and I was like okay if you don't want to tell me or if they're actually because we were talking then and then in the end uh, it came out like I felt like I don't even really know this guy he just telling me that he knows me but in the end he he doesn't you know and the thing is, I'm I'm not a bad guy, you know. I'm I'm actually a nice guy, and I I got no problems if if some guys want to share play because they ain't got the game or they ain't sure or something. I'm not like the type of bitch who'd be like no, you know. But the thing is, if if you're lying to me or something, or just telling me that you know me while you actually don't, just because you can share play with me or play a game that you don't have and take my kindness for a weakness then I'm gonna be like no because that's not how it rolling I'm not doing that type of stuff if you want me to be nice to y'all then you at least gotta be honest at least gotta be honest okay because I don't fuck with that bullshit I'm not a 12 years old who's waiting for a friend to be like yay I got finally somebody to play with and all of that type of stuff I don't give a fuck about that shit I mean if you want something whatever I'm, I'm not a bad guy as I told you but the thing is if you're not perfectly clear if you're not 100% honest with me then you don't need to expect bullshit alright because that's not how I'm doing things okay that's done and about those rage quitters you know actually this is a type of stuff you don't even need to talk about because it's it's simply bullshit like completely bullshit in the end you know we don't even actually don't need to talk about that stuff but the thing is you know they're actually some kind of players as you can see in this picture right now they have like a, an 11 win streak they're 2 to 0 in this in this round and they rage quit and nowadays it's very easy on PS4 because all you do is go into the menu and close this application and you're good this also happens in tournaments when I'm in my final round and the horse just lost to me, he don't give a shit if I can't win or lose the final round. He just quit in the tournament by closing the application or whatever. Cool thing. You know what? You know what the the funny type of shit is that there there are like you you call yourself Tekken fans. You call yourself Tekken fans. But the funny thing is, if you actually were Tekken fans, you wouldn't give a fuck about that shit. You know, I mean, I actually don't care. I think it's just ridiculous how much of a pussist you are, for real. I mean, I don't give a shit about an 11 win streak. How, like, how much of a pussy you have to be to cry about, about an 11 kill streak about an 11 win streak just to, to, to close everything just so you keep it I don't even think that you're gonna keep it when you close it that way like what the fuck is wrong with you guys if you can't handle that shit simply quit it don't play that bullshit I mean watch the pro players the Japanese the Korean players 
they easily can get a hundred wins online especially in your ranks and what do they do if they want to switch characters they simply lose on purpose because they don't give a fuck and they can easily get all their wins back with no effort because they got something called skill and I'll be like same here I could turn on my PS3 now go on some TGT2 ranked my biggest win streak was something about 30, 40, whatever, and I lost. But I didn't give a fuck because I know if I go back there, I could do it again. Rage quitting wasn't easy there anyway. But this is what you call skill and confidence. I played Tekken since Tekken 1. I'm playing it for years. And even if you play it, even if you're bitching around because of 8, 9, 10 wins, whatever, you're simply a motherfucking pussy and you should fucking stop playing that fucking game if you can't handle this crap of bullshit hopefully soon enough Harada will put in some that that if you bitches rage quit that something is going to happen that you can't play for some time or you lose all your ranks or whatever because this is just an insult to all the Tekken fans who try to do something trying to get somewhere you know even with the new guys they actually try to prove some skill that's why I make my tutorials and videos so they can learn how to fight right and honest and I don't turn into a bitch like you and you just being there crying about 8 or 11 win streak like what the fuck is wrong with you I mean jump off a freaking bridge man what type of super pussies are you you know I usually don't talk like that but you forced me kinda to because I think it's a fucking ridiculous how pussy you can be because of a fucking game online you even take Bob already to spam and and feel cool and when you get some wins you 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 know what even is more ridiculous you can't even prove that you have some skill because if you will try to play with skill you couldn't even get one win that's the ridiculous thing about it why why you don't just stop playing the type of bullshit you are I I just don't get it just just stop that bullshit this is like you want to cut your arm in, in two pieces because you're telling everybody I don't want to die. That's that's how dumb this is. And I think I already talked enough. I, I had enough of this. Usually I don't get pissed about that shit because I don't give a fuck to be honest. But it's, it's just ridiculous and it's just unfair to the new players and... Those who, who really give it all to be to be skilled players and then some pussies come across and they cry about an 8 win or 11 win streak like what the fuck is wrong with you get off of that game if you're not happy with that game then switch to Street Fighter or whatever but let those skilled people do what they love and stop fucking up that game for real.